Example 1 from examples class 2 is five number summary and drawing a box plot. Our example comes from Triola, section 3.4. It's a box plot for the number of English words from the Merriam-Webster's Collegiate Dictionary. So we've got a random sample of pages from this dictionary and listed below are the numbers of defined words on those pages. Construct a five number summary box plot. So we have to have the data in order to work out our five number summary because you'll recall the five number summary is going to be the minimum value in our data set, the lower quartile, the median, the upper quartile, and the maximum value in our data set. So we show those five number summary in brackets. So that's the minimum value, the lower quartile, the median, the upper quartile, and the maximum value in the data set. Therefore, the data has to be in order. So we'll calculate the median first. The median is our middle value when the data are in order. Our median value here is going to be our halfway position between the fifth and the sixth. Using that positioning point, we've got 10 values in our data set. N is 10, so our positioning point will be 10 plus 1 divided by 2, or our 5.5 position. So halfway between 51 and 53 in this case, giving a median of 52. The lower quartile, you'll recall, is the median of the first half of the data. So taking the first half of the data, 34 up to 51, our lower quartile is the median of that half. So that would be our value at position 3, a value of 39, giving a lower quartile of 39 for our five number summary. Similarly, on the other side of the data, the upper side of the data, our upper quartile, we'll look at the second half of the data, that's 53 up to 79, and our upper quartile will be the median of that half of the values giving a me an upper quartile of 63. It's the median of the second half of the data. So our upper quartile will be 63. So our five number summary, our minimum value, our smallest value in the data set is 34. Our lower quartile is 39. Our median was 52. The upper quartile, 63. And the maximum value in the data set 79. That's our five number summary. We can use this to draw our five number summary box plot. So transferring those values across to our page for working. Five number summary. We're going to have smallest value of 34, lower quartile 39, median 52, upper quartile, 63, maximum value, 79. To draw our box plot, we need to have a scale. Choosing a suitable scale for the range of our data, we're going to be using a scale of 30. I'm going up in steps of 10. That's 30, 40, 50, up to a maximum of 80. Our box is going from the lower quartile to the upper quartile. That's the, the middle half of our data, if you like. So our box stretches from the lower quartile, which was 39, to the upper value, the upper quartile of 63. The box can be as wide or as narrow as we like. We can have it vertically or we can have it horizontally but it stretches from the lower quartile on one side to the upper quartile on the other. That's our box, our middle half of the data, and we show our median as a solid, a thick line in the middle of our box. Our median value is 52, so using our scale, we can position our median as a thick line inside the box. Now we will draw our whiskers 
out to the minimum value on one side and the maximum value on the other. So drawing out to our minimum value of 34 on the left hand side and out to a value of 79 on the upper side. That's our maximum value of 79. And that completes our five number summary box plot. And remember we should also add a title for completeness. Make sure to label it with a suitable title um, for this particular question. Box plot of number of words from the Webster's Collegiate Dictionary. We've got a title and a scale and we've drawn our box plot minimum value, lower quartile, median, upper quartile, and maximum value. Our question is then if we define an outlier as an observation that lies more than 1.5 times the interquartile range from the upper and lower quartiles, are there any outliers in our data set? So it's defined an outlier as any observation that lies beyond that point of 1.5 times the interquartile range from the upper and the lower quartiles, i.e. beyond our values of 39 on the lower quartile and 63 on the upper quartile. Our interquartile range, simply the upper quartile, take away the lower quartile values. So it's going to be taking a value of 39 away from 63. Upper quartile is 63, subtract the value of 39 for the lower quartile, giving us an interquartile range of 24. We've defined those outliers as any values 1.5 times the interquartile range. So our next step is to multiply that interquartile range by 1.5. So 1.5 times the interquartile range of 24 gives us a value of 36. These values get added on to the upper and taken away from the lower quartiles. We can see where the fences stretch out to on each side. So we have a fence on the upper side of the upper quartile plus 1.5 times the interquartile range. And we'll have a fence on the lower side of the lower quartile subtract 1.5 times the interquartile range. But starting with the one on the upper side, we'll take the upper quartile of 63. We'll add on that 1.5 times the interquartile range that we just calculated at 36. Adding those two together gives us a value of 99 on that upper side. Looking on the other side of our box plot, let's go to the lower quartile. We need to subtract 1.5 times the interquartile range to go beyond on that side. So that would be our 39, take away our 36. Once again, the 39 being our lower quartile and the 36 being the value we calculated for the 1.5 times the interquartile range. So 39 take away 36 gives us a value of 3 on that lower side. So our fences are going to 3 on one side and 99 on the other. So we're looking back to our original data set to see if we have any values in the data set that go beyond those fences. So we're looking, have we got any values on that lower side that are smaller than 3? And we haven't. And we're looking at the other side and saying, have we got any values greater than 99, the fence on the upper side? And we haven't. So for this particular case, we have no outliers in our data set. No outliers in this particular data set of number of words from our Merriam-Webster's Collegiate Dictionary. And that's the end of our example on drawing a five-number summary box plot, our example one.